Hello everyone. Today is a very exciting day for me. It's Kingdoms of Amalur Day. I received the collector's edition. I simply had to get this one because I have quite nostalgic memories about the original Kingdoms of Amalur the PS3 game. It came out in 2012 and I think they expected it would be a huge success and sadly it wasn't. They didn't sell enough copies and the developer went bankrupt. This is quite a story. It is a fascinating story. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, I'm putting a link in the description below to a review that Matt Sainsbury has done, which gives you very good background on what happened and why. So Kingdoms of Amalur came up in 2012. I didn't play it back then because I actually wasn't gaming at that stage. I didn't start till 2013 and in May 2013 I joined PlayStation Plus and in June they brought Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning as a free free game to PS Plus subscribers and that was my first experience with the game. It was in fact the first time that I entered into a really big RPG with an expansive world and I was completely fascinated by it. I just immersed myself in it and it was just wonderful. You have to remember the game is now a good eight years old so it'll probably come across as a bit dated by now, but I want to go back and revisit the world of Amalur. I had such a good time with it. Yeah, as I said, it's, it's a bit of nostalgia for me, and I'm sort of hoping that if the, the new game, this remastered version, if it does reasonably well, they might just keep the IP alive and do something else with it, and I, I think that would be great. It's, of course, a Western RPG, not a JRPG. They're all RPGs, and that's all that matters to me. As you can see from the label here, the company that developed it, Big Huge Games, and another one called 38 Studios, they are the ones who uh, went bankrupt. It was published by Electronic Arts, and one of the writers for the game is the very, very well-known, highly popular fantasy writer R.A. Salvatore. Uh, they really uh, brought in the big guns. Apparently he wrote a massive book full of lore for this game. Uh, and that is one of the delights of going into the game, that you can explore and really get to know that world. There is real world building there and that's one of the things I enjoy in RPGs. I also enjoyed the combat. My memory is not too clear about it but I found it very fluid and enjoyable. So let's dive into this marvelous box and see what's inside. I've taken off the little plastic stickers that you know held it together that's all. So that is the um, the top of the box with the with the name. Here's the the back of the box. And that's the side panel. So there is the box with the figurine right at the top and there will be reflection from the plastic I'm sure. So I'll now get that out and we'll, we'll try and get the figurine out. So that's the, the figurine. And I will 
attempt to get her out. She's called Alan Scher. Um, she belongs to the race of the Dof Dokalfa in Amalur, and her class is a rogue with the daggers. Uh, and she appears throughout the game at crucial junctures. So the moment you open up this box, the first thing that greets you is a small map. So a nice little touch, and I can see there's more maps lining the inside of the box. So I'll show you that once I've got the figure out. And I'll just show you the lining inside the box. Ah, oh, Poodle Pa said pull it out and I thought it was glued to the sides. It was so difficult to get out. But here we have the map. Isn't that amazing? I thought it was a lining inside the box but it's a, you can pull it out. I've never encountered that before. That needed two pairs of hands, Poodle Pan, me getting her out of that um, uh, plastic prison. But we managed it. And here she is, Alan Sher. Nice little elven ears. Her two special daggers. So I've got the remaining items out from the um, bottom of the box and we'll have a look at the official soundtrack uh, which comes in a really nice little booklet format. It wasn't wrapped in cellophane or anything, it just came like this. And I'll just show you the inside. And as usual, I'm putting the soundtrack on here straight away should just be able to hear it i hope one scene that is stuck in my memory is the very opening of the game and i won't tell you too much because you may want to play it for yourself but you start out basically dead you're stuck dead in some hellhole and Finding your way out, uh, obviously something happens so that you're back in operation. Finding your way out, it, it really throws you in at the deep end. But once you reach that opening to the outside world, and the moment you step out, it's just, it's just magic because there's this wonderful, open, green world. And it was such a relief getting out there and I thought, oh, I've got all that to explore. And it was a wonderful moment and I've always remembered it and I just want to relive that, really. So I'll just have a quick look in case I don't expect there'll be anything inside here. So this is the new cover for the new Re-Reckoning version. And it's um, as usual in my region, region 4, which is Oceania. And I'll just quickly check inside, but I'm not expecting anything. No, it's just the disc. That's it. No reversible art cover either. So there we have it. The old game and the new game. And we just need to have a quick look at the art cards. There's the first one. Is the second one. And 
Mm -hmm. And we just about managed to fit it all on the table. It is a big box and most of the spaces of course goes to Alan Scher, the mysterious rogue from Kingdoms of Amalur. I am quite pleased with her. They've got a good amount of detail on her and I think she looks quite striking. So that was the unboxing of the collector's edition of Kingdoms of Amalur. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to leave Poodle Par to clear everything up and I'm going to grab this game and I'm going to sneak off into my gaming room and I will enter the mysterious and wonderful world of Amalur. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. Please keep well. I'm Food for Dogs. Bye bye.